When we plan badly, we, we end up spending a lot. As, uh, basically, as Ugandans, uh, our main interest is, you, you see, it's like uh, most countries are shifting to standard gauge railway. And our thinking would have been, uh, would have been that we would also as a country go for the dual system. And we, we, we are looking at it like it becomes costly to run the two systems using the two lines differently. But of course now, now that Uganda has decided, as government, government has decided to go for the rehab, rehabilitation of the meter gauge railway and then also handle the, 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 the standard gauge railway separately. And yet we believe it would have been cheaper if we had gone for the duo so that we, 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 we handle this cost at once other than having all the, uh, the, the two lines running separately. It's costly to put down the infrastructure. Honorable, where do you think the problem was? Was it in technical capacity to interpret and understand these things? Was it that this technology we were not aware before, so it's an issue of ignorance? Where was the problem according to you? I, uh, basically, basically, what I would say, I, I, I wouldn't want to say, uh, because usually, I, I, I think it, it, is, it, it all revolves around the planners of this country. When we, when we plan badly, we, all, we end up spending a lot. You see? Yeah. For every project you do a feasibility study. So I do not know whether a feasibility study has been done for a dual gauge, I mean for a double gauge, where we can have two different gauges on the same alignment. But if we haven't, then it could be something to look into and see how feasible it, it is for us as a country to have a, do a double gauge for meter and standard gauge. Yeah. It could be something because it works somewhere else and from, uh, from, from the, the knowledge you find that it is cost effective when it comes to operation and maintenance uh, and then construction. Suppose it is done on time, can we still implement it? Yes, if the feasibility study is completed and we find that it's feasible enough to be done in the country, then it can be.